Hey everybody, the exercise that we're gonna be going over today is gonna to be the lateral dynamic A march. This is gonna be a progression that we use on our change of direction days or our lateral emphasis days, just so that we can get some lateral inputs into that A series to where we're pushing outside of the frame and displacing ourselves to the side. Biggest thing about any sprint drill is making sure that they understand the intent behind the movement. If we're going through here and they're moving like this, very lackadaisical and passive, we're not gonna get much out of it. So first and foremost, make sure they understand that we want an aggressive foot strike under the hip with the heel floating off the ground. Don't collapse that heel. That's an energy leak, right? With an aggressive arm action ripping down as well, okay? That foot's only gonna move as fast as the hand. So making sure they understand that these should sequence up. When the hand comes down, the foot should come down. Week one, I start them out on the line. I give them either the away stands or the home stands to face. I'll have the inside leg up, the opposite hand cheek to pocket, starting with that knee even with the hip. On the whistle, they're gonna be going for 20 yards week one. I like to go extensive early so they have more time and more repetitions to develop the skill. And then about weeks two and three, I'll cut it down to a 10 yard with a burst and then have them facing the opposite direction coming, uh, coming back. So to give you guys a quick demonstration on how to perform this, Again, you'll have them start off the goal line, wherever it is that you're starting. Inside leg is up, cheek to pocket. Okay, on the whistle, aggressive foot strike, intentional reps. Driving through the ground, being aggressive every rep. Okay, again, they're gonna be going extensive early. I would give them about 20 yards in one direction week one, and then have them come back. And then when you see that the intent is there and that they understand the requirements of the movement, shorten the distance a little bit, higher intensity, and then have them burst out for the last 10. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. 